Everyone, please welcome to the stage, Granddaddy G! Hey everybody! How y'all doing? Good to see you. Let's hear it for our host Greg, doing a wonderful job. I got the nickname Granddaddy G years ago when I was in a hip-hop group. I used to rap, dance, and sing. Now that I'm old, I do stand-up because that's about all I can do anymore. Stand up. So far, so good. I don't know how I got so old so fast. I looked up one day and I'm 69. I can't believe it. 69. Huh. Like that will ever happen again. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. Like this morning, I accidentally put blueberries in my coffee maker and ground coffee in my oatmeal bowl. I brewed a pot of hot blueberry water. You ever do that? <laughs> and then I accidentally brushed my teeth with arthritis cream. <laughs> but you know, at least now my sore gums feel better. And another crazy thing I do is I talk to myself out loud all the time. Does anybody do that? Well, I answer myself back. And I don't only do it at home. I do it in public, like at the library, in the gas station, in the grocery store. Speaking of the grocery store, how did everything get so goddamn expensive? Huh? I mean, W-T-F-O-N-G-S-M-H. <laughs> Did I do that correctly? Because when it comes to texting and emojis and all that, I'm confused AF. <laughs> <sighs> Fortunately, I get Social Security. Yeah. But if prices keep going up, I may have to go out and get a job. Mm. Problem is, at my age, the only job I'm qualified for is President of the United States. Do you realize that a year from tomorrow is Election Day? November 5th, 2024, we'll be electing a new president. So I think I still got time. Should I run? Okay. I mean, I'm a lot younger than the two guys that will be running, at least a decade younger. So, yeah. Yeah. another thing that's going to happen in a few hours from now, we're going to fall back and turn the clocks back one hour. Who the fuck thought of that stupid idea? Huh? I mean, come on. Can't we just leave it at daylight savings time all year round? Can't we do that? I mean, come on. From what I understand, daylight savings time was started so that farmers could spend more, more time in the fields, more daylight hours to work in the fields, right? Raise your hand if you're a farmer. Case closed. When I'm president, I will make sure that we never ever have to change the clock again. You know what else I'm qualified for? Dating. I've been divorced twice and the third one died, so I'm available. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Just because there's snow on the rooftop doesn't mean there's not a fire in the fireplace. <laughs> you've, heard, you've heard of the Golden Bachelor? I'm the Aluminum Bachelor. <laughs> Cheap and durable, but still valuable enough for someone to dig out the trash. The problem with dating when it comes to men, we think that every woman likes us, right? Men think that every woman, even if she's the least bit nice to us, even if she's just being polite, we think she likes us. The other night I'm having drinks with a friend of mine. My friend says, hey man, you see the way she smiled at me? I think she likes me. I said, dude. She's a cocktail waitress. She smiles at everyone like that. She wants a tip. He said, oh yeah? Well, how about that one over there? You know she likes me. Look what she's doing. She's looking right at me. 
put my arm around him, I said, bro, this is a strip club. She's a stripper. She saw you put a dollar on the rail. I have to make a confession. I was at the strip club by myself. But that conversation actually happened. I'm Glenn Granddaddy D. Bruno. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.